In mathematics, when x is a finite set of at least two elements, the permutations of x, i.e. the bijective functions from x to x, fall into two classes of equal size, the even permutations and the odd permutations. If any total ordering of x is fixed, the parity oddness or evenness of a permutation sigma display style sigma of x can be defined as the parity of the number of inversions for sigma i.e. of pairs of elements x y of x such that x y display style x and sigma x greater than sigma y display style sigma x greater than sigma y the sign or signature or signum of a permutation sigma is denoted SGN sigma and defined as plus 1 if sigma is even and minus 1 if sigma is odd. The signature defines the alternating character of the symmetric group SN. Another notation for the sign of a permutation is given by the more general Levi Civita symbol E sigma display style epsilon underscore sigma, which is defined for all maps from x to x, and has value zero for non-bijective maps. The sign of a permutation can be explicitly expressed as SGN sigma equals minus one n sigma, where n sigma is the number of inversions in sigma. Alternatively, the sign of a permutation sigma can be defined from its decomposition into the product of transpositions as SGN sigma equals minus 1 m where m is the number of transpositions in the decomposition. Although such a decomposition is not unique, the parity of the number of transpositions in all decompositions is the same, implying that the sign of a permutation is well defined. Equals Topic Example Equals Consider the permutation sigma of the set, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which turns the initial arrangement 12345 into 34521. It can be obtained by three transpositions, first exchange the numbers 2 and 4, then exchange 1 and 3, and finally exchange 1 and 5. This shows that the given permutation sigma is odd. Following the method of the cycle notation article, this could be written as sigma equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 2, 1 equals 1. 3 5 2 4 equals 1 5 1 3 2 4 Display style sigma equals begin p matrix one and two and three and four and five three and four and five and two and one end p matrix equals begin p matrix one and three and five end p matrix begin p matrix two and four end p matrix equals begin p matrix one and five end p matrix begin p matrix one and three end p matrix begin p matrix Matrix 2 and 4 end p matrix. There are many other ways of writing sigma as a composition of transpositions, for instance, sigma equals 2 3 1 2 2 4 3 5 4 5, but it is impossible to write it as a product of an even number of transpositions. Equals Topic. Properties equals the identity permutation is an even permutation an even permutation can be obtained as the composition of an even number and only an even number of exchanges called transpositions of two elements while an odd permutation can be obtained by only an odd number of transpositions the following rules follow directly from the corresponding rules about addition of integers the composition of two even permutations is even the composition of two odd permutations is even. The composition of an odd and an even permutation is odd. From these it follows that the inverse of every even permutation is even. 
the inverse of every odd permutation is odd considering the symmetric group Sn of all permutations of the set 1 n, we can conclude that the map Sgn, Sn, minus 1, 1, that assigns to every permutation its signature as a group homomorphism. Furthermore, we see that the even permutations form a subgroup of Sn. This is the alternating group on n letters, denoted by n. It is the kernel of the homomorphism Sgn. The odd permutations cannot form a subgroup, since the composite of two odd permutations is even, but they form a coset of n in Sn. If n greater than 1, then there are just as many even permutations in Sn as there are odd ones. Consequently, n contains n, two permutations. The reason, if sigma is even, then, 1, 2, sigma is odd, if sigma is odd, then, 1, 2, sigma is even, the two maps are inverse to each other, a cycle is even if and only if its length is odd. This follows from formulas like a b c d e equals d e c e B E A E or A B B C C D D E Display style A B C D E equals D C E B A text or AB B C C D D in practice, in order to determine whether a given permutation is even or odd, one writes the permutation as a product of disjoint cycles. The permutation is odd if and only if this factorization contains an odd number of even length cycles. Another method for determining whether a given permutation is even or odd is to construct the corresponding permutation matrix and compute its determinant. The value of the determinant is the same as the parity of the permutation. Every permutation of odd order must be even. The permutation 12, 34 in A4 shows that the converse is not true in general. Topic. Equivalence of the two definitions Topic. Proof 1 Every permutation can be produced by a sequence of transpositions, two element exchanges. With the first transposition we put the first element of the permutation in its proper place, the second transposition puts the second element right etc. Since we cannot be left with just a single element in an incorrect position, we must achieve the permutation with our last transposition. Given a permutation sigma, we can write it as a product of transpositions in many different ways. We want to show that either all of those decompositions have an even number of transpositions, or all have an odd number. Suppose we have two such decompositions. Sigma equals T1 T2. Tk Sigma equals Q1 Q2. Qm, we want to show that K and M are either both even, or both odd. Every transposition can be written as a product of an odd number of transpositions of adjacent elements, e.g. 2 5 equals 2 3 3 4 4 5 4 3 3 2. To see this, note that if we have the transposition i j on an n element set 1 i j n one way to decompose it is as j minus 1 j j minus 2 j minus 1 i plus 1 i plus 2 i plus 1 i i plus 2 i plus 1 j j minus 1 the right block of transpositions first frees up the j space by moving j over to the j minus 1 space then j minus 1 goes into the j minus 2 space with j minus 2 in the j space j minus 2 goes into the j minus 3 space with j minus 3 in the j space etc until i plus 1 ends up in the i space and i in the j space thus each element from i plus 1 to j minus 1 is in a space 1 to the left from where it ought to be 
In the left block, each of those elements is restored one at a time to its original space. After resting in the I space for the duration of one permutation, J ends up in the I space, and I in the J space, with nothing else altered, as desired. The number of transpositions is J I plus J I 1, which is clearly odd. If we decompose in this way each of the transpositions T1, T K and Q1, Qm above into an odd number of adjacent transpositions, we get the new decompositions sigma equals t asterisk 1 t asterisk 2 t asterisk k sigma equals q asterisk 1 q asterisk 2 q aware all of the t1 t asterisk k q asterisk 1 Q asterisk M are adjacent, K minus K is even, and M minus M is even. Now compose the inverse of T asterisk K, which happens to be the same permutation, with sigma. T asterisk K is the transposition I, I plus 1 of two adjacent numbers, so, compared to sigma, the new permutation sigma I, I plus 1 will have exactly one inversion pair less in case I, I plus 1 was an inversion pair for sigma or more in case I, I plus 1 was not an inversion pair. Then apply the inverses of T asterisk K minus 1, T asterisk K minus 2 t asterisk 1 in the same way unraveling the permutation sigma at the end we get the identity permutation whose n c above is 0 this means that the original n sigma less k is even and also n sigma less k is even addition model o2 is independent of sign we can do the same thing with the other decomposition q asterisk m Q asterisk 1, and it will turn out that the original n sigma less m is even. Therefore, m minus k is even, as we wanted to show. We can thus define the parity of sigma to be that of its number of constituent transpositions, because we see that this can have only one value. And this must agree with the parity of the number of inversions under any ordering, as seen above, so the definitions are indeed well defined and equivalent. Topic proof 2 An alternative proof uses the polynomial p x1, xn equals ij xi minus xj display style p x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n equals prod underscore i so for instance in the case n equals 3 we have p x1, x2, x3 equals x1 minus x2, x2 minus x3, x1 minus x3 display style p x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 equals x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 x underscore 1 x underscore 3 now for a given permutation sigma of the numbers 1 n we define sgn sigma equals p x Sigma one x sigma n p x one x n display style operator name S G N sigma equals F R A C P X underscore sigma one L dots X underscore sigma N P X underscore one L dots X underscore N since the polynomial P X sigma one X sigma N Display style p x underscore sigma one dots x underscore sigma n has the same factors as p x one x n display style p x underscore one dots x underscore n Except for their signs, it follows that SGN sigma is either plus 1 or minus 1. Furthermore, if sigma and tau are two permutations, we see that SGN 
sigma tau equals p x sigma tau 1 x sigma tau n p x 1 x n equals p x tau 1 x tau n p x 1 x n p x sigma tau 1 x sigma tau n p x tau 1 X tau n equals S G N sigma S G N tau display style begin aligned operator name S G N sigma tau n equals F R A C P X underscore sigma tau one L dots X underscore sigma tau n P X underscore one L dots X underscore N four P T and equals F R A C P X underscore tau one L dots x underscore tau n p x underscore one L dots x underscore n c d o t f r a c p x underscore sigma tau one L dots x underscore sigma tau n p x underscore tau one L dots x underscore tau n four p t and equals operator name s g n sigma c d o t operator name S G N tau end aligned. Since with this definition, it is furthermore clear that any transposition of two elements has signature minus one. We do indeed recover the signature as defined earlier. Topic proof three: A third approach uses the presentation of the group S N in terms of generators tau one, tau n minus one. Display style tau underscore one dots tau underscore n one and relations tau i two equals one. Display style tau underscore i caret two equals one. For all i tau i tau i plus one tau i equals tau i plus one tau i tau i plus one. Display style tau underscore i caret tau underscore I plus one tau underscore I equals tau underscore I plus one tau underscore I tau underscore I plus one for all I tau I tau J equals tau J tau I display style tau underscore I carrot tau underscore J equals tau underscore J tau underscore I if I minus J two here the generator tau I Display style tau underscore i represents the transposition i i plus one. All relations keep the length of a word the same or change it by two. Starting with an even length word will thus always result in an even length word after using the relations, and similarly for odd length words. It is therefore unambiguous to call the elements of S N represented by even length words even, and the elements represented by odd length words odd. Topic proof four. Recall that a pair x y display style x y such that x y display style x and sigma x greater than sigma y display style sigma x greater than sigma y is called an inverse. We want to show that the count of inverses has the same parity as the count of two element swaps. To do that, we can show that every swap changes the parity of the count of inverses, no matter which two elements are being swapped and what permutation has already been applied. Suppose we want to swap the i display style i th and the j display style j th element. Clearly, inverses formed by i display style i or j display style j with an element outside of i j display style i j will not be affected. For the n equals j minus i minus one display style n equals j i one 
elements within i j display style i j assume v i display style v underscore i of them form inverses with i display style i and v j display style v underscore j of them form inverses with j display style j if i display style i and j display style j are swapped those v i display style v underscore i inverses with i display style i are gone but n minus v i display style n v underscore i inverses are formed the count of inverses i display style i gained as thus n minus 2 v i display style n 2 v underscore i which has the same parity as n display style n similarly the count of inverses j display style j gained also has the same parity as n display style n therefore the count of inverses gained by both combined has the same parity as 2 n display style 2 n or 0 display style 0 now if we count the inverse gained or lost by swapping the i display style i th and the j display style j th element we can see that this swap changes the parity of the count of inverses note that initially when no swap is applied the count of inverses is zero now we obtain equivalence of the two definitions of parity of a permutation topic other definitions and proofs the parity of a permutation of n display style n points is also encoded in its cycle structure let sigma equals i 1 i 2 i r plus 1 j 1 j 2 j s plus 1 1 2 u plus 1 display style sigma equals i underscore 1 i underscore 2 dots i underscore r plus 1 j underscore 1 j underscore 2 dots j underscore s plus 1 dots l underscore 1 l underscore 2 dots l underscore u plus 1 be the unique decomposition of sigma display style sigma into disjoint cycles which can be composed in any order because they commute a cycle a b c x y z display style a b c dots x y z involving k plus 1 display style k plus 1 points can always be obtained by composing k display style k transpositions two cycles a b c x y z equals a b b c 
x y y z display style a b c dots x y z equals ab b c dots x y y z so call k display style k the size of the cycle and observe that under this definition transpositions are cycles of size 1 from a decomposition into m display style m disjoint cycles we can obtain a decomposition of sigma display style sigma into k 1 plus k 2 plus plus k m display style k underscore 1 plus k underscore 2 plus dots plus k underscore m transpositions where k i display style k underscore i is the size of the ith cycle the number n sigma equals k 1 plus k 2 plus plus k m display style n sigma equals k underscore 1 plus k underscore 2 plus dots plus k underscore m is called the discriminant of sigma display style sigma and can also be computed as n minus the number of disjoint cycles in the decomposition of sigma display style n text minus the number of disjoint cycles in the decomposition of sigma if we take care to include the fixed points of sigma display style sigma as one cycles suppose a transposition a b display style ab is applied after a permutation sigma display style sigma when a display style a and b display style b are in different cycles of sigma display style sigma then a b a c 1 c 2 c r b d 1 d 2 d s equals a c 1 c 2 c r b d 1 d 2 d s Display style ab a c underscore one c underscore two dot c underscore r b d underscore one d underscore two dots d underscore s equals a c underscore one c underscore two dot c underscore r b d underscore one d underscore two dots d underscore s and if a display style f and b display style b are in the same cycle of sigma dispel i style sigma then a b a c 1 c 2 c r b d 1 d 2 d s equals a c 1 c 2 c r b 
d 1 d 2 d s Display style ab a c underscore one c underscore two dots c underscore r b d underscore one d underscore two dots d underscore s equals a c underscore one c underscore two dots c underscore r b d underscore one d underscore two dots d underscore s. In either case, it can be seen that n a B Sigma equals N Sigma plus or minus one Display style N ab Sigma equals N Sigma PM one. So the parity of N A B Sigma Display style N ab Sigma will be different from the parity of n sigma display style n sigma if sigma equals t 1 t 2 t r Display style sigma equals t underscore one t underscore two dots t underscore r is an arbitrary decomposition of a permutation sigma display style sigma into transpositions by applying the r display style r transpositions t one Display style t underscore one after t two display style t underscore two after after t r display style t underscore r after the identity whose n display style n is zero. Observe that n sigma display style n sigma and r display style r have the same parity by defining the parity of sigma display style sigma as the parity of n sigma display style n sigma a permutation that has an even length decomposition is an even permutation and a permutation that has one odd length decomposition is an odd permutation. Remarks A careful examination of the above argument shows that R N Sigma Display style R G E Q N Sigma And since any decomposition of Sigma Display style sigma into cycles whose sizes sum to R Display style R can be expressed as a composition of R Display style R transpositions the number N Sigma Display style N sigma is the minimum possible sum of the sizes of the cycles in a decomposition of Sigma display style sigma including the cases in which all cycles are transpositions this proof does not introduce a possibly arbitrary order into the set of points on which sigma display style sigma acts topic generalizations Parity can be generalized to Coxeter groups. One defines a length function v, display style l v, which depends on a choice of generators for the symmetric group, adjacent transpositions, and then the function v minus one v, display style v mapsto minus one caret l v gives a generalized sign map <laughs> 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 
Topic. See also. The 15 puzzle is a classic application, though it actually involves a groupoid. Zola Derev's lemma. Equals equals notes. <laughs>